Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I have a fun Christmas car video to share with you today. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's Merry Christmas Gnome stamp set and the matching outline dies. Their Gnome Peking stamp set, their Border Dies 2, their Birthday Dies, their Street Lamp Dies Christmas Add-ons, the Gnome Dies Christmas Add-ons 2, Gnome Dies Gnome Face Add-ons 1, car dies, off-road vehicle, or you could use the cruiser, cruiser vehicle. I use the off-road vehicle. And the gnome dies, girl gnome face add-ons, along with the gnome dies. And I'm using Doodlebug's Gingerbread Kisses, the plaid polka dot in six inch, the candy stripe and sprinkles, Doodlebug's gingham linen, and also an oldie, this is Here Comes Santa, it's a six inch pad. There we go. I'm also using the P13 stamping pad skin tones that you can get over at the Jada Blossom store um, underneath Fun Extras. So first I have an A2 size card base made out of paper tray and cardstock, 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half inches. And I'm adding on some paper. This is from that Gingerbread Kisses six inch paper line. I'm sticking it down with some ATG tape. And then I will trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors. There we go. Now, normally I don't cover the entire front of a card. So, you know, this is something different for me. On the inside, I'm going to add a one inch strip of paper from that same paper pad, uh, Gingerbread Kisses, adding it with some ATG tape. And I'll put it about a quarter of an inch from the bottom. I kind of use my Stampin' Up! pad to kind of line things up. And I'm going to trim off that overhang with a pair of scissors again. Now I'm pulling out, this is some ephemera. This is the odds and ends tinsel time. And I'm just sticking down this little car. So this, I chose this one just because I'm gonna have a car on the outside of my card. So I'm going to have a car on the inside. I try to echo what I've got going on, you know. So I just thought this is super cute. There we go. And I'm going to take my secure white jelly roll pen in a number 10 and add a few little highlights to my car just to make, you know, make it a little more special. So there, you just have to let it dry off to the side for a bit. Next, now I am going to have, uh, make a couple of little snow hills. This is Paper Trank white cardstock and then Heidi Swap Marquee glitter cardstock. It's very thin, it's kind of like paper. And I just wanted to layer those two together and I used Jada Blossom's Border Dies too. And I will, you know, put those on the front of my card. So next I'm going to assemble my little um, car dies off-road vehicle. So first I cut it out of American Crafts black card stock. Then I'm adding on the wheels or the tires that are cut out of that same card stock. There we go, using Artiste glue from scrapbook.com. I kind of go back and forth between that and barely art glue. You know, whatever works for you. I just find that if you're going to use a glue, like make sure you weight it down as it dries. Um, just, you know, to avoid it buckling or anything. I haven't had any trouble though, because I always weight mine down. Next, I'm adding on this. This is um, a red mirror card stock. It's from the Recollections Valentine Special Materials 12 inch pad. It's just a red mirror card stock. Next, I'm adding on this little steering wheel was cut from Simon Says Stamp Black Glossy card stock. Kind of nice to have in the stash. So I'm just going to add that on with my reverse tweezers and some glue. I'm just gonna sort of make sure it's tucked under. Remember, when you do it, you should probably add the steering wheel first, right? You can learn from me. All the mistakes, you can see me do them first. Next, I'm going to add on my bumper. This is Silver Mirror cardstock from Recollections. Stick that down with some glue, and I will weight it down. And now I've got my grill. That is cut from Simon Says Stamp Red Glitter cardstock. I just want to make this look like a Christmassy vehicle, right? So that's what, what all the red is about. Next, I'm going to add on my headlights that are cut from Simon Says Stamp White Glitter Cardstock. The nice thing is, is if, if you smear some glue on the front of some mirror cardstock, you can literally lick your finger and wipe it off so you don't get any of that dried glue or it doesn't look smudgy, you know? Okay, so next I'm going to assemble, this is the um, Street Lamp Dyes Christmas add-ons, and I cut out the wreath from Paper Trank White Cardstock, and then again out of Doodlebug's Gingham Linen, and I do weight it down. Next I'm going to put down my little grill pieces, and you'll see that I cut it out of vellum first, and I use that, I keep it in the package, and I use that to line up the little stripes. 
Now you can line them up on the stitch, stitching lines, but sometimes it's hard to see. So I like to keep this vellum piece. I can see through it to line stuff up and then I'll add the little girl pieces. So I'm adding on American Crafts black cardstock here using some Barely Art glue and some and an embellishment wand to kind of get things in place. And you know, it's kind of handy. It's like doing a puzzle, right? You can line up all these little pieces in that little vellum piece and you know, make sure everything's straight. And I just find it easier this way. Now I should have had the, you know, had the acrylic block on it a little bit longer. But you know, like I always say, you live, you learn. I peeled it off a little too fast. And I realized, darn it, I'm going to have to put some more glue. So I do go back and glue, uh, glue these back on. There we are. So we'll stick that glue back on. And then um, I'll leave it a little longer to dry. So this is really fun for Christmas. You know, you can dress up these cars, the Jaded Blossom car dies, um, with whatever holiday you're working on or, you know, for a birthday or whatever you want. You can have things piled up behind the gnome and, you know, make it themed for what it, whatever you want. And this is extra fun with it being a Christmas one, right? So next I'm adding on this little elf hat. That is from the Gnome Dies Christmas add-ons too. So first I cut the gnome out of American Crafts black cardstock, and because it doesn't show, um, it doesn't matter. You can use whatever you want. Next I'm inking around this little hat with some Distress Ink and Mowed Lawn. The paper is Plaid Polka Dot from Doodlebug, and I'm just going to glue that down onto the top of this gnome here. There we are. And then I will add my other layers. So really, this is, my, this is my mistake. I really could have skipped the layer with the ears because I do end up cutting those off to add the elf ears. But like I always say, you live, you learn. When you do it, just add the, you know, cut off the black ears and just add the, you know, the front face part, right? Now you'll notice that I didn't have the hat on quite straight. So there's a little black crack showing there. Well, don't worry about that. We will cover that up with the hair. So next I'm adding on this other decorative detail to this elf hat. I'm using Mustard Seed Distress Ink and inking around the edge. I'm not sure if I said Distress Oxide Ink for the mold Lawn, but it's all Distress Ink. So I'm adding on that little part there for the little elf hat. Isn't that cute? Just lining things up. And then um, I'm taking out the little, the little hair piece is actually from the Gnome Dyes Girl Gnome Face add-ons. And I cut it out of that same American Crafts brown cardstock as the beard and mustache. And I'm just inking around the edges with some Distress Ink in Walnut Stain. So there we are. And then I will stick the hair down first and it'll cover up the kind of the little gap there. There we go. Yeah, so no one knows but you and me about my boo-boo. Now I'm pulling out my EK Success chalk and I'm ink blending on some chalk. And I know this is an old set, um, but you know, you could certainly color in the, the cheeks with some Copic markers and blend it out with, a, with a, a zero. And that would look fine as well. I just chose, I really like to ink, or not ink blend them, chalk blend them. So now I'm adding on my little beard. Then I'll add on my little mustache. But first I'm going to stamp the little gnome faces. And I'm using my Misty and some Versafine Claire Nocturne ink. And I'm just going to ink the eyes. Now, had I been smart and stamped the face first before I added the beard, I wouldn't have had to worry about it. But, you know, hindsight like is 2020, like I always say. So I'm just going to carefully ink the eyes and then stamp the eyes. Now, just don't press too hard, right? We don't want to, you know mangle them, make them look all, all, you know, not crisp. So just light stampings. And then you'll want to be careful and let that dry. Because like I said, that stuff, you know, easily smears. Next, I'll add on my little mustache. I'm going to sort of line it up. There we go. And then I will pop up 
the little nose cut from that P13 stamping pad skin tones. Remember, you can get that over at the Jaded Blossom store. And I'm going to pop up the little nose with a scrapbook adhesives foam square. It's not as high as the Stampin' Up Dimensionals that I usually use. Now I'm adding some highlights and freckles with a secure white jelly roll pen and a number 10. So next I'm going to stamp on um, a sentiment from the Gnome Peaking stamp set onto the license plate. The license plate is cut from Paper Tray Ink white cardstock. You see that I kept the little um, piece of paper that I cut it out of, and that'll just hold the license plate in place. And you saw that I did cut the word joy off of one of those sentiments. Remember, you can cut stamps, just be careful. And then you can stamp them as they were originally meant to be, that you can push them back together, no big deal. Um, but if you use it more by cutting it, you should cut it, right? Just be careful. So I stamped on my sentiment, the word joy. This is going to be my only sentiment on the front of my card. Now you see, I'm going to do gnome surgery. We're gonna cut off those ears because I forgot about the elf ears. But these are the things, right? So I'm gonna cut off those ears and now I'm going to add on the elf ears. Aren't those cute? And I'm using my Barely Art glue and then I'll just line them up. And isn't that fun? I just think he's so cute. Look at him. Okay, so next I'm going to add on my little license plate with some Barely Art glue. And I'm going to put that towards the bottom of the bumper because I don't want my wreath covering up my license plate. There we go. Because I'm going to have the wreath on the front of this truck. There, I'm going to weight that down. And now I'm going to put together this little boat. Now this, this red paper came from that Recollections Valentine Special Materials 12 inch pad from Recollections. And it is, or from Michaels, and it is, it almost looks like a red vinyl. So it's shiny, but it's got a bit of a texture to it. it. It just looks great. So, you know, when you're adding on a lot of different textures on a card, but the same color, it really does add interest. So I'm just adding on all my little pieces. I really do love this bow. I've used it on a few things this year. Just looks super cute. So now I'm going to ink around my wreath and I'm using the Distress Ink and Crushed Olive. And I'm going to ink around the interior, just bending that sponge in half. There we go. And isn't that fun? And then, um, oops, I'm going to ink blend around this Christmas tree. Now this is normally, this is, a, is meant to be a hat for your gnome, a Christmas tree hat. But I'm going to put this in the back of the car like there's a Christmas tree back there. So I'm inking around the lighter color in the crushed olive and the darker color in the mowed lawn distress inks using one of those Ranger blending tools. And then um, we'll put it together. Now this is the present. This is from the birthday dies. I cut it out of uh, paper to ink white cardstock and then again out of that candy cane cardstock from the Here Comes Santa Claus six inch pad. It's an old, old pad. Just use another pattern from Doodlebug doesn't really matter whatever you want so there we go and then I'm going to glue on this green glitter ribbon and that is cut from um, Simon Says Stamp green glitter cardstock I love Simon Says Stamp glitter cardstock the glitter stays on super glittery cuts like butter it's beautiful okay so next I'm going to assemble this tree you'll see that it was cut out of Doodlebug's candy stripe and sprinkles both, both of the greens. So I'm just layering up those two things. Isn't that fun? I thought the two colors gives it a little bit of interest and it repeats the color that I've got going on on the wreath, you know, and then the green for the, for the bow. Now, now I'm adding a gold mirror star. That was Recollections cardstock as well. Now I'm going to pop up these two little bumper pieces with those scrapbook adhesives foam squares. Remember, they're really, they're like uh, not very high. Like they're not super dimensional, just a little bit. So I'm going to add those in place with my reverse tweezers. And I just think this car is, or truck or whatever you want to call it, the off-road vehicle is turning out super cute. You could do the same thing with the cruiser vehicle if you'd like, right? Add some, add some items in the back. 
Now, next I'm going to pop up this little wreath on the front of this off-road vehicle. So cute, right? So there we go. Taking off all the backings and then I will pop that on the front of my little vehicle. Try not to cover up the license plate. I'm going to add the red bow to the top of it. Now, if it was, if I didn't have a license plate on this car, I would maybe put it on the bottom, but I don't wanna cover up my sentiment. So I'm going to put it on the top of my wreath. There we go. And then I'll tuck in a couple of foam squares, um, you know, behind the tails of that bow, you know, just so it doesn't dip. Oops, using my reverse tweezers to sneak it in there. And I'll go grab another half and sneak it in the other side. And then we will be set for that. Isn't that cute? I just think it turned out adorable. Now I'm going to add on my side mirrors that were cut from that same recollection silver mirror cardstock. There we go. Isn't that fun? And now I'm going to pop up the little gnome hands cut from that P13 stamping pad skin tones, right? Um, with Stampin' Up Dimensionals, the miniature ones. So I'm going to add the hands first. And then I will add my gnome behind the car. So I'm just going to add some adhesive tape to the front of my gnome. And then I can kind of figure out where he's going to go. Kind of have him tilted at a jaunty angle there, right? And then I will glue that, um, you know, the top edge of that front windshield down on top of the gnome. I'm just going to clamp it with my reverse tweezers and let it dry. And then I'm going to add on my two little snow hills. Remember those are with those border dies too from Jada Blossom. And I'm just going to, you know, put them on at the bottom of my card base. And I'm going to add the other one. That's the nice thing about that the cut line is in the center of two stitching lines because then you get two hills, right? So I'm going to add those to the bottom of my card. And I will trim off that overhang with a pair of scissors. And I think it just kind of makes it look like your off-road vehicle is kind of off-roading it in some snow, right? Driving down a snow-covered lane for Christmas. There we are. Now, I'm not sure what this shape sprinkle is, but it is from Doodlebug. There we go, it's like a little candy pinwheel. And then I'm pulling out the shape sprinkles called sprinkles, and I'm just going to use the little tiny yellow ones to go on top of each of these little spikes on the hat. And the reason being is I didn't want to use the dies, and I thought this would add a little bit of shine and, you know, some interest, right? And I always try to make, you know, I try to use what I have and I've got a lot of sprinkles to use up, so I try to use them. Okay, so there we go. So now on the inside, I'm going to add my sentiment to my card. That is from that Merry Christmas Nomi stamp set, and I did use the outlined ad, outline dies to cut it out. So it, sees, so it says, all roads lead gnome for Christmas, right? And then I'm going to stick my little present down first, so it looks like it's in the back kind of tilted on that jaunty angle. And then I'm going to have my Christmas tree poking out from behind that. So it'll make it look like it's even higher because normally this is a hat, right? But we're using it as a tree in the back of the car. So there we go. And isn't that cute? I think it looks adorable. Now I'm going to add ATG tape to the whole back and I will pull out my um, Barely Art glue to kind of, you know, add a little bit of glue here and there as well. There we go, and uh, I'm going to have this flat. Now, the reason being is because um, I did use some dimensional dots on the front of this die cut, right? So it's not like there isn't dimension, so I don't wanna add even more dimension. So I'm going to add that flat to my card front, kind of trying to keep it centered. And remember, the only sentiment is that license plate anyway, so it's fine as it is. And I'm going to sneak in a couple of these little uh, foam squares behind the side mirrors, just because I noticed they're kind of sticking up there. So I'm going to add 
that behind there. And there we go. Isn't that cute? So now I'm pulling out our winter embellishment cluster dies from Jada Blossom. I didn't show that at the beginning because I didn't really think about, I didn't know I was using them. So these were cut out using Simon Says Stamp white glitter cardstock. And I just love, there's three different sizes of snowflakes, perfect for this. And I'm going to have it snowing all over my card. So I'm going to be adding snowflakes to the front, you know, visual triangles, odd numbers, all those things. And I think it's a lot of fun and it's flat, right? It's a flat embellishment. So I'm just going to stick them down, kind of getting things lined up. And like I always say, you know, visual triangles, things like that. And, um, you know, I try to make it look more realistic by having the snow fall down all over the place. I buried my embellishment wand under the mess that's on my desk. So I was using something else there. So now I'm adding in my other snowflakes there. And isn't this fun? I just think it's adorable. And I just think it's, like I said, a super cute card for Christmas. So there we go. And isn't that sweet? Just lots of fun. And now I'm going to add another one there. And then we will call it done, I believe. There we are. Next, I'm going to pull out my um, We Are Memory Keepers half inch corner chomper and I'm chomping the upper left hand corner just for fun. And I really like how it turned out. I just think it's adorable. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, be inspired by the team, the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products and make sure you are a follower at the YouTube, Jada Blossom YouTube site and the Leanne K YouTube site. Bye everybody.